Are we back? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, awesome. So it kind of jump off where Brother Ivan was going with it. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, he's exactly right. Because yeah. the information that I was going in, and as I was digging, I say, man, all of this is backwards. Because the more we dig into contracts, getting more into their way of doing it, the further we get out of how it was originally and organically was within our tribe and within our nation. Right. It's like the brother was saying, gold and stuff was just a part of who we were and we just made it look good. What our wealth came from was from our, literally our nation, our family. And that's where, cause we had family, like he was saying exactly what brother Ivan was saying. We had family from the from Canada all the way down to the tip of Easter Island. And we was all in sync and connected, not just physically, but spiritually and mentally as well. And that's why it took a lot of so long for some things to even transpire for them to even take a lot of this stuff over because they had to plot and do a lot of stuff over there in their land. Because a lot yes, of this stuff is, is, is separate. The only thing that connected is Alaska and some underground tunnels and stuff that you can get through that they don't talk about um, in True the that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so, um The brother is exactly right. And that's, and that's the purpose of, you know, I, why I wanted to get these Zoom meetings is because we got to start coming up with the right solutions. I like agree. Stop getting involved in just filing paperwork, like you all said, for the wrong reasons. And step back, look at look at the bigger picture. How was it organically made? It was under God's law first, before any back. law. And any trust was between God and God. That's it. I Meaning That's nature back. and the organic being that came from nature our God or whatever higher power you want to put on it. because we came up with all the stories in the first place with all the, with all the mythologies and the mysteries in the first place based off our experiences on this plane that we organically came from so that's through all the studying that I've gone through that is where our sovereignty lies is getting back into like brother say into what is ours our family our self-governance, our government, our first government is our family. Just what you're doing with your goddesses, I'm doing with my gods over here with my three boys, you know. And what what and my whole initiative is to change the world, not change the world, but our world, how we govern ourselves and impact that. So then we can hopefully impact the community. And then it goes on and go on, like brushing shoulders and exchanging energy, like we're doing here. We all in agreement right now on the same cause on coming up with solutions to the actual problem, not filing no paperwork. We don't need to file paperwork. All right. we have to do is stand I mean, on our There's nothing wrong with that though, bro. No, it's not. It's, you know, that's, it's for certain people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's for certain people. So but right, wrong, but wrong that's- but right now, that's why I say like this, 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 this me in here, like our how I got these informational setups. And that's one thing I was going to go into. Like, if you want to file the paperwork, now there's people that you can follow to file the paperwork. Because right. It's like it's one lady on um, TikTok. Uh, you might heard of her. Kimmy, Kimmy Guru. Have you heard of her? I have not. So she she's pretty good. I follow her and she goes into the actual documents that you need for discharging your paperwork, for discharging your debt, excuse me, for um, authenticating your birth certificate. And then I think she might go in on claiming your nationality as well. And it's another young lady that I can't remember on um, claiming your nationality and getting your um, birth certificate authenticated and, and those different things. Um, me personally, I'm not, I, I, I always point people in the right direction if they want to get it done the right way. Right. Um, I'm, I'm with brother Ivan um, when, it, when it comes to standing on our square um, paperwork, you know, it's about really how can we manipulate their laws against them and stand on our original rights and our business rights on the land. 
That's how I'm looking. And, and, and do you know that even the 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 the, the, the undrip is not even legally binding, despite how we be striving to use it to mm -hmm. aid assist us in our plight. It's not legally binding. The 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 uh the law. Undrip, United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. Mm, you said it's, not it's, legally it's binding. Mm, so. So this is, and this is my question. Now, how can we make that legally? Like, how can well, we, how can we get, get that into a legal binding contract where we can do exactly as you said, brother, stand on our sovereignty and on our square without having a contract because it's our original right, not based on your paperwork and just because you got it, but based yeah, off well, because that's off the information and that's off the knowledge. Yeah, because it's paper. What? You could lose that. I mean, you know, yeah. you, your house could burn up. It's gone. You know, what you gonna mm -hmm. do? Like, you know. So I get that in that aspect of it. Go ahead, Ivan. Well, um, I remember you you had posted something uh, one time on TikTok, and we kind of chatted a, a briefly mm -hmm. in the comments. And I was saying we gotta always remember that there's a difference between legal and law, right? So now, with that being said, although it's, see, that, that's the trick that they play, play with all the paperwork, there's gonna all, always, they're gonna always try to make it as difficult as possible. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that the, the undrip is not legally binding, mm -hmm. right? And with that being said, they're gonna, tr they're gonna try to use it when they push their paperwork, mm -hmm. to, to connect it to their stuff, and then they're gonna hit, eventually hit a roadblock. Mm -hmm. However, if you standing on law or sacred ground, yes, right, yes. you do not need the undrip. Okay. Ivan, mean, what's the undrip? You know, what is that? Um, it's the, it's the that's the it's the acro, that's the acronym for the, the United Nations. Yeah. Okay. On the right yeah. <laughs> okay. I did, a, okay. I, did a, I did a small little okay. video on it, um, on my TikTok, um, making people aware of. Um, the the what what brother Ivan is talking about. I think I did it on the United on uh, on the United Nations, but you also got yeah, the, the American. Yeah, yeah, you also got the got, American one as well. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's too, I did. I wasn't aware of the American American set until I actually came home for prison. Okay. Um, I came I, I I came home with the undrip already. That was okay. Like I said, I was on it already while I yeah. was in there. You know what I'm saying? I you no. Know, I used to visit the law library. I, you know, I read the Black's Law Dictionary religiously. So mm -hmm. a lot of the terms and stuff, the, the legalese, um, I'm already familiar familiar okay. with. It's just the technology. Like I said, I was gone for 25 years. So the technology, I mean, the whole is, is, is just different. Um, fast learning though, so I, I'm learning this stuff. I've even learned how to do my own little music and stuff um, awesome. using the software and stuff. Awesome. But at the end of the day, getting back on, on course, it's about step, once you stand on law, uh, and and you are direct. You you have reconnected yourself to source or the Most High or the Creator, mm -hmm. whatever name or how one wants to describe it. The paperwork once again is going to go out the window. When 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 it comes to the actual physical addressing of this situation, after everything is said and done. The trust and stuff, that stuff is going, it's not going to mean nothing because the system is, for one, right now, the system is actually, the government is actually de facto. It's, it's, yeah. out of, it's been out of business for, for about 30 years. They just don't want people to know it and they're not letting people know it. That's, that's one. But once everybody is actually on, on one accord, or at least a good amount of individuals is on one accord and this stuff go up, now, as I was explaining to the sister, I don't advocate violence for I know and understand. I'm peaceful by nature, and I, that's how I, our ancestors were pe peaceful people. Once again, we live by in, in harmony. The, the, the 42 affirmations of my art, or this, even the seven virtues of my art, we, we, we lived that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We lived it. Mm -hmm. you, you, you did. However, I do also understand that it's, it, it comes a time where there's a I for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Mm -hmm. They've been through first blood. We've been letting them get away forever. Yeah. I mean, there's been a few insurgents 
There's been a few rebellions and stuff like that. However, they still have maintained power and authority. Yeah. But the big one is on its way. Mm. And when that big one comes, all this paperwork is not going to mean nothing. Yeah. The, the system, as we know it, is going to cease to be. And those who are left, who are truly organic to the land, is going to eventually revert back to the old ways. Yeah. Barter system, the barter mm -hmm. system. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your crops or your skill is your money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That fire, not no fire, not mm -hmm. even gold and silver. You can use the gold and silver. Silver, as exactly. As an exchange. But mostly, once again, you know, is going right back to family. You might marry your daughter off to his son. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And to help the number of the family broaden. Mm -hmm. The more the marrying, that's your wealth. Mm. And once again, everyone has a skill set. It, they, they're going to be good at something. And so then the family that lives down down in the, on the next part of, of the land, they may say they may be farmers. Yeah. Your family uh, may be mostly, most of your family may be good in, in being like you no know, semen, making mm. clothes. So the exchange comes from I, I'm making clothes. I give them clothes. They give me uh, some 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 of their crops. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's those. That's the old way. Yeah. And that's what it's going to eventually go back to being yeah. able to live off the land. Mm -hmm. You go off mm -hmm. the grid. That's what it is. You live yeah. Off the land. You don't. You're not. You're not depending on them for nothing. Yeah. Right. That's that's and that's like the sister vision right there. That's like yeah. um, the sister yeah. vision. Everybody yeah. helps each other. This land though. And then, and we got to get the infiltrators that, that's amongst, amongst our own, and and it's and that's a hard task in itself because they yeah. they even they are even in our families. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they, they merged into the family. They bit they you know what I'm saying they all over the place. They really are. And, and, you, and you can't tell who is well nowadays you can because once again you can tell if, uh, a tree by the, the fruit it bears. Yes. The, once again, yeah. the constructs, the concepts, what they're in, what people are interested in. What they continuously declare or profess or claim, these things. I have cousins that all day all day long. Um, they all they talk about is they moors, they, they trust, and I'm like, listen, you're not putting, don't put my name in that. I'm not, no, nah, don't put my name on no trust. If if you ain't giving me your word, I, mm -hmm. I, I, how can I trust you? Yeah, you know that's it. You that's got it. this piece of paper <coughs> just in case if something was to transpire that and it goes ill. You want to take me in front of them people. Mm -hmm. so that's the only way that you're going to be able to uh, combat something that, that goes against your trust. You still got to deal with those people. It's no longer just me and you. It's me and you and them people. Yeah. That's why I push private. That's why I push private. Privacy. Yeah. Because yeah. over all the paperwork, you can be private. You they don't yeah, you, they, can. you can be you can be private. So one thing that I push and advocate out of all the information that I share is the awareness of the possibility of you being able to be a private person, a private individual. And we have to, that's one thing that I see us having to get back to is being private, meaning that this is like you were saying, this system is already down. So whatever you got trying to, whatever you trying to take from the system, you got to take it now, get the land, get, start building community gardens, do all of these different things, because now it's going to be the time where, like the brother was saying, where, okay, we got four, five, six community gardens set up in our neighborhood now. So if anything happened privately, we don't have to deal with the government. We can start. Using. Actually, we do though. We still do. The people, what, and they, they're not gonna like. It. What that I'm saying is, is another but, good is, is a good example. Once again, that them people lived privately. Rest assured, they yeah. had trust and all that stuff yeah. going on. But it's like yeah. you said. But it's but this the thing, brother. Let me finish this because it's like you said, right? It's we have to. Uh, it's an I for an I, a two for a two. 
And one mm-hmm. another thing that I, I that I advocate and like how I coach is we have to be in position in order to make a play. See what no I'm doubt. saying? We have to put ourselves in position. We already see they know who we are, and now we're waking up and understanding who they are. So now we got to start putting ourselves in position because they done did it for a lot of years. So and now, but our tactic is we are in every major city. We are in every inner city. So now we have to be able to mobilize in a sense of, as us as individuals communicating, getting into the community, implementing certain things. So now, as you said, brother, when it's time, when it's time, everybody is in position. The children and the mothers, the grandmas, they're in position. The fathers, the sons, the net uncles, they're in position. In every city across the nation, from because it's the impact is right here in North America, what they call North America, United States of America, because it's going to impact every other part of all the Americas, from the South Americas all the way up. And we in every major city, and we in position. That's when we become exactly who you say we revert back to who we are by showing our force by being in position so when you ready to jump we ready not only that we just surrounded you you didn't even know we was like this because not only are we getting people involved in in the community as in us just going out talking to our fellow friends and fellow neighbors but we getting our veterans together we getting people that's been in the armed service that y'all forgot about, that y'all threw away, that y'all used up and said, forget it. And then the ones that y'all didn't say, forget it, that's knowledgeable and that's ready for the cause because they just sick and tired of it. So it's, now it's all I see, I see exactly what everybody's coming from. And now it's like, okay, now it's just time to get in position. That's why I feel like I've been called to Let's start talking about these solutions because now how can we implement, how can you implement something in your community now? Because like you said, it's going to be one day. We don't know when, but we know one day it's going to have to come down to a time where it's going to be an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Everybody has to be in position. Our gods and our, go- our goddesses, our young goddesses got to be in position. Our gods got to be in position. How can we implement this into the community? So we can be in position. So when the time comes for us to stand on our sovereignty, we can stand on our stronghold and take it back and kick everybody out, including the infiltrators, because the infiltrators are going to show themselves that they're going to be agents. They're going to go with the flow. They're making it obvious now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're trying to get us involved in something that we don't want to be a part of. We're just trying to get ourselves in position. So when it's time to take our planet back, we can take it back the right way. That's it. Whether it's, I know, like, it's like I always say, one thing about being moral, that does not mean nonviolent. No, not morals at all. Principles, morals and principles. When you stand on morals and principles, that does not mean you are not a nonviolent person. Standing on morals and principles is who you are, your character, your way of life, standing on what your family is about, standing on this is who I am, this is where I'm from, I am that I am. So I agree wholeheartedly with you. And wholeheartedly in what you're saying, brother. And yeah, I, I said a mouthful there. Yeah, my, I, you know. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> he, no, he, uh, he hit it, he hit it right on the head, and no, I wanted to, to sure. feed off that energy because um, I wanted to show the agreement that we had with each other in right. um, in our different perspectives. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, my significant other has been talking about being private for over the this last year. He's been saying it. He's like. You know, it's like, um, you know, he's intuitively, you know, being, let himself be guided by, you know, by the creator, by spirit. And he's been saying that for the longest, you know, mm-hmm. and how important it is. And uh, that's definitely been our life for the last couple of years. You know, I've tied, I have definitely cut ties, you know, talk about cut ties with family. I don't talk to any of my family. My mm-hmm. family is these four people that stay right here under my roof. This is my family. And then I have a spiritual uh family who have become my tribe that I, um, you know, we kind of on the same path spiritually. 
uh, that uh, we communicate with. We have, we still all live different lives too, but we, we know how to come together and, you know, create a, a space that feels um, uh, safe and comfortable because, you know, I, you know, I advocate for safety, you know, too, for, yes. for my family and, you know, for people who uh, are on the right path as far as doing right by other people, wanting the right things, you know, their heart is uh, in the right space and everything. And, um, you know, uh, I made sure that I went and bought, um, I actually uh, bought some seeds from a sister and I think she's in Florida awesome. or something like that. Okay. And I, you know, I made sure that I <laughs> bought them from, you know, her versus buying them from, you know, just going to Amazon and buying some seeds or something. I wanted to make sure that not only was I supporting my, you know, uh, my own people, and, but also, you know, knowing that what I'm getting is going to uh, continue to uh, provide food yes. for my family. Yes. So, you know, and I'm, I'm teaching my girls how to grow food. Like we, you know, we're showing them how to do it in, um, in the plastic bags, putting it in the window with the paper towel. Uh, oh. you, know, um, you know, I have some squash out here growing. I was trying to take mm -hmm. over my pot, but, you know, just, you know, <laughs> just teaching these children how to grow things you know they're they're so aware they're so impressionable and um it's like it's so important like they are you know uh the ones who could very well continue to still be here you know you know in the future years to come exactly. um you know, I'm not trying to come back to this joint. I'm spiritually, hey. I'm like, you know, when, when I go back to the all, oh, I, I don't plan on reincarnating back here. That's ridiculous, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, my thing Monique, for me, though, it, oh, yeah. Um, so there's no misconstruence. When he say private, he's not meaning it in the sense of how the, the Western Dictionary um, defines private. He's he's, okay. he's coming from a, a legal perspective. It's like oh, it's like a, it's a stand. It's it's like uh, when you when you go private, it pretty much what you're doing is you, you're becoming your your own entity. You you have the LLC. You got your uh, I. -E oh no, I I, I understand it on that level for sure. Yes, I, but I but I also understand it on you know when you do become that kind of private person, you become private too. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. everything yes, is not out here for everybody's business. You know, it's like you 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 have to move differently. You move differently. You talk differently. You do things differently. So I definitely understand it. Believe me, I I like I told you, I feel like I'm in college all over again with the, with the studying, you know, and stuff. But um, but yeah, no, I I totally get that. You know, that's that's why I was saying how important it was to leave this you know, for my children, you know, to teach them that. Like I, I pulled my girls out of school, I, you know, and I'm homeschooling them so that mm -hmm. they're, they're learning what I need them for them to learn. They're learning spirituality. They're learning how to grow foods. They're learning how to take care of themselves, you know, cook, clean, uh, you know, uh, understanding what the, the essential things are, you know, uh, teaching them about uh, finances you know i bought the dr boyce watkins financial literacy card so that could teach them you mm. know certain terms and stuff on their level of their understanding you know teaching them how to meditate and yeah. uh you know what the different ways of the mantras and prayers and mm. uh manifesting you know mm. using their magic creating their own uh things so that they can uh keep themselves protected. Like I'm, I'm very tapped in. I'm, you know, uh, definitely wanting to learn all this stuff and yes. get together with like-minded people. And my thing, I think what I wanted to say is, so, you know, I feel like we all are kind of in a collective of understanding things. I know there's of always more room to, to learn, but mm -hmm. then where do we go from here? Like what, okay. where do, you know, do we, you know, do we start writing the list of A, B, C, D, E, F, G solutions and then, you know, seeing which one we can take care of first? Like, what do we, you know, what does that yeah. look like? What is that, you know, what is the uh, the solutions to everything? What is that? How do you start that? Like, where, exactly. where do you start, you know? And I, and I think that that's the, and that's why we're here. And that's why I think the three of us were brought here because we got, we have, we have a beautiful matriarch right here. And what you said 
is key to um is to to a solution that we're looking for homeschooling taking them out of what they want them to be in mm -hmm. bringing back what is organic and what's original to us i think that's a beautiful solution because i believe how i see it i'm not going to say how i believe but how i see it is it's going to take each individual to come up with their solution and then apply that solution within the community because and that's what we said her and i said that earlier um mm -hmm. it has to be an individual um yeah. within within the co collective yes yes because once we can accomplish that cuz it's this is energy we got to remember everything is energy so yeah. once we bring that energy to the table somebody's going to feed off that energy and, and once and they each feel, individual has to play their their specific role or part exactly right? Because once they feed, once they feed, like the brother said, exactly, once they feed off your energy, they're not going to take a likeness. And this is going to be the difference and what's beautiful about our culture and the original people. We're not going to take a likeness to your energy, per se, and do exactly what they're going to do with exactly verbatim what you're doing. They're going to put a whole twist on it and take that energy and do something, another whole nother skill set. Because, because that's how we thrive. We're going to do it organically because the energy is here now. And... It's, it's like he was like the brother was saying when Tulsa and all of these cities was getting built, that's the energy that it had. It was a skill based energy. It was organic. When they was teaching their kids, when we were teaching our gods and goddesses back in school, they were learning algebra and all this stuff they learned in high school by the time they got to middle school. Mm -hmm. So when they was in middle school, they was learning skill sets. So you talking about a carpenter at 15 years old. And now he can he can have start having children now. Now you got a 12 kids. Started when you was 15, you're a carpenter. You have your own business or whatever the case. And however you do it, you provide for the, let me say it the right way, not your own business, but you have a skill set that can provide for the future of your nation. Let me say that the correct way. Because people, we get this, this, this Western terminology, like the brother was saying, we can get confused in the terminology, in these words. But how we did it, just like he said, I can only be in agreement, is the skill set. So once we find what we have as individuals and skill sets, we implement that into the community. Yeah, so we bring it together. Yeah, we, we bring it together. together. So like my skill set right now is coaching. I'm a coach. I'm, I'm naturally attracted to children and education. So my strategy is here. Okay. I'm not going to get out the employment field. I'm going to get into the education field. And then I'm going to get into the coaching field. Why? Because now I can spread the message to the children, the exact people that we need to. Then not only that, the community organization that I'm a part of, right? I want to help build that community because a lot of people on the same page that I am, I'm on, when we get to the point where we can start actually having community functions, start building um, community gardens and different things of that nature and having community functions where we can actually bring our people together, homeless, rich, or whatever the case, in our community, in this small area in Florida, and start from there and then spread throughout the state and then have other individuals like us do the same thing in their cities. And as a so that's like for me, that was the that was the solution that I seen for us. It's like the vision that you had people coming from miles away to what they call the plantation. But it was just really how we it was really our housing and how we drive everybody living off the land together. That's right. Just like your I, vision, Monique. Yeah, I know. Um, for me, what I know I bring to the table is definitely um, uh, I'm a I'm a teacher by nature, and I also um, have my degree in teaching. Mm. So um, I've been taking care of children for years, you know, and uh, helping them grow, and you know. But I've been doing it for other people, so I'm ready to do it for my people. You know what I'm saying? Not only for my own babies, but 
for, you know, take helping my, you know, my, my family that, you know, I am in contact with helping them with their children and, you know, the community children, the ones who actually want to learn, you know, because yes. these children got these different minds. These are not like um, when we were growing up, you know, these children, you have to, you shouldn't have to have an actual desire to want to learn. It has to be something that's put in them. It's in their DNA, you know, because some of these children do not, they do not care about that stuff. All they care about is the next, uh, you know, fly word that's coming out or, you know, these, this music or, you know, having the next best Jordans and all that stuff. And, you know, that stuff is not important <clears throat> in that aspect to the way they, you know, put it. So, you know, and I'm very, very resourceful. I, you know, I, it, it might take me a while, but if you tell me, go look up such and such and such, I'm like, I will, I'll find it, you know, it might, sometimes it might take me a while, but I'm very resourceful and I know a lot about health um, too. You know, I uh, definitely did the, the vegan vegetarian thing for a lot of many years, um, you know, in my early, in my late thirties and stuff. So uh, just, <clears throat> excuse me, those are the things I know that I can bring to the table to help, you know, my community and you know, I'm still learning a lot of stuff about, about the gardening and things. And, you know, I, out, out here um, where I stay at, there's people, the way that they park and things, it's just crazy. They'll double park you and stuff. But there's this space in front, um, you know, the that dirt space that's right there close to the sidewalk. I've been wanting to take over that and, <laughs> you know, put all the seeds that I could possibly see, you know, and see what happened, you know, kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, that the library uh, that's uh, by my house was giving out seeds. So we took as they were like, take as many as you want. We were like, oh, okay. Wow. So we took the seeds and, you know, just taking those seeds and scattering them out, see, you know, seeing what grows and stuff just to, you know, test it out. But uh, I'm definitely, I definitely feel like the, the, the gardens, the, the community gardens and stuff, I think that stuff is important. Um, I just, you know, for me, I feel like I, I know I have to be in the right community in order for me to be able to be successful yes. with that for my, you know, myself actually taking that on and doing that. I, it, it would take for me to be in the right community. Um, but that's what I know I, you know, to bring to the table okay. to help my people. Okay. That's peace. Yeah, yeah. So I think um I would I would um I would ask myself the question and uh, how can I find the right community where mm -hmm. I am? So then your mind can be able, your and your spirit can be able to be, to begin naturally and organically finding and attracting the right people then your community and where you live at now. Um that's one thing I asked myself and kind of meditated on and, and prayed on. It's just kind of the same thing in a sense. Um, and naturally, I was attracted to people in the new area that I had just moved to. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, I've been with an organization now for going on four years almost. And I've been here five. Um, and, you know, the organization is just continued, continually to grow. And this is where I've seen... Um, our solution that is um, in our communities and getting back to our organic our organic nature um, and um, but I, I, I would you know that's something you know that's just advice that's nothing you know me um, saying that you gotta do anything but you know I've always been the one to just question even myself to even to try to um, wear people lie like I had to question myself to attract you all here you know how can I you know just get two or three people to come where we can just talk about how we can implement our solutions within the community and within the nations and where we at so we can be in position so like the brother said when it's time for an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth we are in the best possible position that we can be in and where we can strike and take back what is ours period because it's coming down to that point because people are getting fed up and it's just, it's the truth. I don't, I don't normally do these things right here. Uh, I'm not, 
I'm not like you used to it. I, mm -hmm. I'm just not. Well, the type of the type of. I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Um, I did my time, the 25 years in in a Virginia, uh, in, in Virginia State in Virginia. I currently now reside in Maryland. Okay. I'm naturally a private person myself. Mm -hmm. Is how I was raised. Um, growing up in Chicago, Illinois, at the age of three, I, the first school I went to was Sister Claire Muhammad School. Mm. Um, before that, I I also was I was homeschooled. Um, and during going to during the, the time that I was going to Sister Claire Muhammad School, my homeschooling still it it continued. Okay. Um, after that, I I went I was taken out. Of, well, after um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, changed forms. Um, my, my mother and my father decided to, to put me in a Christian school. Uh, it was called Fellowship Christian Academy. Mm. At the same time, while in the household, once again, I would be in homeschool still. Okay. So in the home, in the home, I was also being taught the different religion, the other different religions. Um, I met it, the whole nine yards, everything that everybody is pretty much doing is attracted to now. I was doing that as a, a youngster. Mm. Um, I, my dad is a carpenter by trade, so I grew up knowing about carpentry. That's um, nice. I, I, yes. I'm a, my, my whole family is is musical, um, so I, I, I'm, I'm also musical. Uh, I've, I've learned to become an orator while, while I was in prison, and the, oh, wow. the type of work that I do now, um, I do not work for no corporation. I do not work for nobody. I, I, have, I have offered my services to this doctor who was part of my parole um, my parole team when I was in Virginia. I'm still mm -hmm. currently on parole, okay. as they would say. Which, but anyhow, um, I've, I've, I've um, offered my services to her, to her um, and she, she, she pays me for my, my, my services. I, I facilitate uh, talk to young children that are, are incarcerated in Baltimore, Baltimore um, facilities up there, juveniles. Um, okay. So I, I, I've always wanted to do like some public speaking Mm -hmm. um, so I've taken myself out of my comfort zone. Like I said, I'm naturally a, a private person because how I was raised, and just like the sister, I was also for many years. Every, for many years, I was raised as a vegetarian, a, a vegan. I yeah. we didn't start eating meat till I was probably like 16, 17. Wow! You know what I'm saying, wow. Yeah. So I, that's I think that's why I also look so so young for, for my quote unquote age, as they would say my age mm -hmm. under this Gregorian calendar. I still look young. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um but I, I have a whole lot of lot of stuff that I can offer to to in the event everybody was serious. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um I've also learned from my, my experiences, especially while being well growing up in gang culture and, mm -hmm. and being in prison, that oftentimes when you put yourself on the front line, when the smoke clears, nine times out of 10, you're the only one left standing. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, when you're the only one left standing, you're the one who has have to deal with, with quote, the, you know, the, the, um, the slave slave catchers and mm -hmm. all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody, and everybody in the background, all of us, first they rooting for you, but now they saying how stupid you are. Look at him, he's stupid. So I learned I learned from all those type of experiences and that's what made, made me become a little bit more more private. Yeah, you know, I, I get have, that. I have taken myself out of that comfort zone. And like I said, I don't know, normally even do like the Zoom stuff. Like I had many people on, on like on Facebook and, and stuff ask me to join like their groups and stuff. And I, I've always declined that stuff because uh once again, I I personally I do not draw off, off numbers and I know mm -hmm. that a lot of people are still ego egotistical. Exactly. Um, Very much so. Know, if you don't have to happen, to, if you happen to not know, or you happen to word something incorrectly, you always you got this, that, and the third trying to correct you, and or, or this person he's the master teacher and try to. Be, so I don't. I personally don't have a lot of tolerance for that type of stuff. But I was interested in 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 what you had to say because I like I I I, I really I do I follow you on the TikTok. Uh -huh. um, I, at first, I used to see your your, your stuff, and I said, "Hey, the brother, the brother kind of, you know, he he wants to son. You see what he's talking about? And yeah. when you when you, uh, I think you did a, a TikTok post talking about having a Zoom meeting. I said, you know what? I'm gonna see what, 